The beginning of painting peasants begins with the early modern period and the beginning of the stock market, like the beginning of genre painting. You can see in the it's quite hard to see, like in the foreground there, there's like there's a guy vomiting and a dog's eating his vomit. And um, this is my favourite bit, it's an old woman race in the background. And there's like people fighting. And like the least important thing is kind of the people actually going to church. Um, so so yeah, so it's like, yeah, shagging, vomiting, fighting. Interestingly, it's not just the Bible as we would understand, the Bible stories as we would understand it. There's definitely the rural culture in there. Obviously, they view the nativity as being about fertility. And it's about the fertility of God and the fertility of man and the fertility of animals. And it's also about the fertility of the earth itself because um, up there to the right of Mary's head is the Star of Bethlehem, but to the left is the Seven Sisters, the Pleiades, which are the stars that mark the beginning and the end of the growing season, or the farmer's year. Um, I think also what's really noticeable about the Swedish peasant paintings is the way they treat the animals in them, the way they depict them. Uh, the animals are really like up front, part of the action, um, they've got like, facial expressions, they're smiling, uh, they're not sort of objects in the background. The way I look at their paintings is and um, there's never any em empty space in them. And I'm not saying that they're literally painting these forces, but I'm saying it might be symptomatic of literally how they see the world, that there is just not any empty space. There is something there, even if you can't see it, and it's something material. So that's the painting in the exhibition, and that's the painting I did behind it. It's a fence. I just realised people who don't know Swedish fences won't realise it's a fence. <laughs> if you were accused of having jumped over a fence in a witch trial, that was pretty incriminating. Because jumping over a fence was a sure sign of being a witch. Especially if it was in a certain direction, which I can't remember, but I think it was probably like Finland or Lapland. If it came from there. <laughs> this is um, a muller and grinding stone that were owned by peasant painters. The grinding stone that was owned by yeah, Niels Persson and then also his daughter Anna Johanna Nilsdotter. So she was also a painter and I hasten to add there were plenty of female painters in this peasant painting tradition. To the right there are the pigments that I made for the exhibition and uh, brushes that I made. So the pigments I made there are from birch leaves, um, tansy, yarrow, um, ladies bed straw, um, so these are all wild flowers that grow in the area. I kind of think that the, the brushes are a bit like uh, magic wands. I suppose that's the idea. And if you think of it, like they are literally the sort of material that you're, you're, you're making this image with. And so I made myself a giant um, paintbrush that's also like a witch's broom and a hobby horse. Like I said before, I was using the same materials that um, um, the peasant painters used. And so they painted on like old linen cloths that they had. I painted, I mean it's hard to see, but on the right hand they've sort of sewn together into different cloths that I got um, from these kind of second-hand vintagey kind of places. This is this painting is actually based on an archive photograph in the museum collection. All these paintings are painted with well, a bit of flour in the bottom sometimes, but otherwise just with egg. And that was a bit, and Ingele Newstrom, she discovered this and it was actually a bit of a revelation because the tendency was for people to think that they were kind of gessoed or made with animal hide glue and they're not. And it was like, wow, because you always got taught that you mustn't paint with egg tempera on floppy surfaces. You must always only paint with egg tempera on panel. And it turns out that's complete bollocks because uh, the Swedish peasants were doing it all along in it. And those paintings are completely floppy and they've been kept rolled up and they're kind of, they're like that. They're not even, they're not at all stiff.